Hello there, welcome along to this week's House of Games final. All week we've been quizzing four famous faces. One of them is about to win this extraordinary trophy here. Some people ask me where we found the trophy. Now, you know when they dug up Richard III? I got this in a skip in the same car park. Uh -huh. Amazing, Incredible. isn't it? Exactly the same place. Shall we meet our four players? They are Samantha Womack, Rory Reid, Anne Diamond and James Acaster. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, what a week it's been. Anne and James have both won shows. Sam and Rory yet to win one. Shall we look at the weekly leaderboard leading into today? Sam, six points. That's not bad. Could easily change. It could very easily change. Rory, nine points. Anne, 12. And James, 15. It is double points Friday. That means eight points for a win, six for second and so on. So it's all still to play for. Sam, what are you playing for here? Pride, you're playing for... Pride, did you say? Pride, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just a gift. Just a free gift. That's all I'm in It'd be for. nice to win, right? Yeah, just be... something. A towels, pillow. Rory. My Rory. mission all along has been don't come last. Don't come uh, last. So far, so good. Be nice to win a day, though. You've had a couple Thanks. of second places. I, that, wasn't, that wasn't a dig at you, Sam. <laughs> yeah, great, whatever. <laughs> I just don't want to be you. Um, <laughs> no, it would be nice to win. It would be nice to It'd win. It'd be nice oh, to win one, right? Absolutely. Uh, Anne, you won one yesterday. Yeah. Took home a lovely House Against Fondue set. I do. I'm so thrilled with Very... that. that is, that's it. I don't mind now. James, sir, mm. welcome back. Should we take a look at the daily prizes? <laughs> yes. Here is your <laughs> choice of prizes today. Were you to Ooh. win? Yes, James, it's a lunchbox. <laughs> yes, James, those are slippers. Yes, that is a Richard Osman action doll. That's terrifying. Um, thank you. <laughs> yes, that is eau de cologne. <laughs> and, yeah, that is some House of Games sparkling wine. I don't know if you like Lithuanian <laughs> wine. <laughs> <laughs> Anything there to take your fancy, James? I think the slippers actually weirdly. I've got a dressing gown, and yeah. um, since I got that dressing gown, I'm pretty much convinced it's the best thing I've ever bought in my life. It's amazing, and I love it. And uh, I just think it'd be good to have some slippers to go with it. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, James, very best of luck today. Very best of luck to everybody else. Someone is going to take away this trophy at the end of today's show. Shall we get on and find who it's going to be? Our first game on Friday is... <laughs> Correction Centre. Now, in this round, I'm going to read each of you a statement, but it's wrong. All you have to do, though, is change one word in it and the statement becomes right. Sam, we will start with you. Here is your first one. During a walking holiday in Snowdonia in 2017, Brian May decided to call a snap general election. <laughs> if we change one word there, we make a true statement. Theresa May. So we change Brian... To Theresa. To Theresa. <laughs> is the correct answer. Very well done. I like the idea of Brian May doing it there. Rory, you see how this works? OK, Vaguely. here is yours. If you change one word, it won't always be changing Brian to Teresa. OK, right. yeah. Sometimes it'll be different. Here is yours. In 2005, a letter to Marlon Brando asking him to appear in a big-screen adaptation <laughs> of On the Buses was sold at auction for $33,600. You guys have got it already. What, I'm, like, thinking, what are you laughing at? Chill letter to Marlon Brando asking him to appear in a big-screen adaptation of On the Buses was sold at auction for 33 I don't know. I don't know. Should we time you out? Time me out. OK, we'll time Rory out. Sam. Buses waterfront. Do you know what? It's not on the waterfront. It's on the road. But how is that what? not on, on the, the waterfront? <laughs> I'm going to give you the point. I'm allowed to do that. Fine. And I'm choosing to do it. Oh. On the road? Who's heard of that? No one. No one. If you did say on the road, congratulations, you get two points. So write in and you can redeem them. Anne, yes. here is yours. In the 19th century, couples wanting to marry without a licence <laughs> often went to Robson Green. <laughs> Robson Green. <laughs> yes, they went to... Oh, no, I'm going to forget it now. Gretna Green. Change Robson to Gretna. Yes, please. Is the correct answer. Very well done. Gretna Green. <laughs> James A. Caster, here is yours. J.M. Barry's play Peter Pan is subtitled The Boy Who Would Not Shut Up. Change the word shut to grow. The Boy Who Would Not Grow Up. Is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> Sam, back to you. Here's your second one. What would you like to change here? In 2012, Jennifer Lawrence and Liam Hemsworth both had important roles in the Olympic Games. Olympic to hunger. Olympic to hunger, the Hunger Games. It's the right answer. Well played. 
You guys are good at this round. Rory, you had the toughest one, I'm going to say, in that first pass. I'd like an easy one now, if that's I'll all right. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Here is yours, Rory. Despite some people's objections to the cheap humour and casual violence, the Richard and Judy Fellowship was founded in 1980 to preserve, promote and protect this British tradition. Change Richard to punch. Oh, it's a correct answer. Oh, well done. That, that I didn't get it. <laughs> I was literally going, oh, man, we've given Rory another really hard one. That. Well played, well played. Have you got that at home harder. as well? Anne, here is yours. Virginia Woolf famously said that a woman must have money and a laptop of her own if she is to write <laughs> oh, fiction. Yeah. Oh. Laptop to mind? Laptop to mind. I actually don't mind. know the quote. Is that a correct answer? Mm -hmm. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh, it would have been good. It would be good. Anyone want to buzz in? You don't lose a point, James. Say so typewriter. Mm. Laptop to typewriter. Interesting. It is incorrect as well. Good thinking, though. Yeah. Do you lose a point if you buzz nope, in? You don't lose a point. <laughs> yes, Rory. Um, a woman must have money and a house of her own if she is to write fiction. Makes no sense. I'm just going with it. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Mm. Sam, everyone else has had a go. Virginia Woolf only said a woman must have money and a pen of her own if she's to write fiction. I love we've gone from laptop to typewriter to pen. <laughs> that is... Buy a house. Incorrect, oh. I'm afraid. Oh, it was pencil. Oh. No, it wasn't pencil. Of course it wasn't <laughs> <I> pencil. <laughs> it was. Let's take a look. Well done at home if you said... Room. 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 A so room of house. her own. That's not true. Oh, yeah, house was good. Mind was better. She well, no, yeah. house, house is near a room. Yes, but I agree with Anne that... Mind is a better quote. Yeah. Like, well, she should have I, said I quite that. Like that. Um, James, James, you are the final question in this round. What would you like to change here? Although he courted controversy off the field, spin bowler Shane McGowan took over 700 test wickets during his cricketing career. Change McGowan to Warren. Here's yes. the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> Shane Warren is the exact right answer. Well done if you got that at home. Let's take a look at the scores after our first round on the final of this week's House of Games. Here's how we stand. Mm. Rory and Anne in last place with one Ooh. point. James has two, our leader with three oh, points. Finally. It's Sam. Here we go. Well done. And now I like this game. That's what, there we go. That's all we needed all <laughs> along was for you to be winning. Yeah. That's all we needed. Shall we play another round? Mm. See if we can keep that lead up. Round two today is... You complete me. This is a pairs game. Anne, hmm. we choose the person who's in last place. You are joint last place, but I don't think you've chosen a partner no, yet this week. Who would you like to finish the week off with? You were a very good team with Sam Yeah, I'm going to go for Sam again. Yeah, you go Smart for Sam. Boy. So, Rory and Anne, will you swap places, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, in this round, I'm going to ask you a series of questions on the buzzer. Every single question has a two-word answer. If you buzz in, you must give me just the first word. I will then ask your teammate to give um, me the second word. Okay. So you have to know the answer. You also have to trust that your teammate knows the second bit of the answer. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Here's your first question. Give me the first word of this answer, please. Which character created by Roger Hargreaves wears a top hat and a monocle? He's the guy who wrote the Mr Men books. If that helps. Sam. Oh! Just need the first part. No, sorry. OK. Gents, do you want to have a, a try? Oh, oh Rory. <laughs> Mister. Mister is the first word. Over I mean, to you. Here we go. This is how this round works. Uh, James, what do we think? Uh, play. So, uh, character wears a top hat and a monocle. Mister... Mister Rich. Mister Rich, you're going to go for, is that correct? It is incorrect, I'm afraid. The answer was... Mr. Uppity. Uppity. Mr. Uppity. Here's your second one. What is the title of Madonna's 1986 number one album, which includes the tracks Papa Don't Preach and La Isla Bonita? Yes, Sam. I was going to say, like a prayer. A prayer. No. Incorrect. Oh. Gents, you fancy this at all? Uh, nope, it was. <laughs> True oh. Blue. Oh. True Blue was the answer. Here is your next question. Who is this actor? James. Chris. Is correct. Rory. 
Evans. <laughs> is incorrect, I'm afraid. Do you want to buzz in, either of you? Yes, Sam. Hemsworth? Incorrect as well. There's there's a group of acting Chris's. Yeah. Chris Evans yeah. is one of them. Chris Hemsworth is another one. But this is James. Did you know it? Chris Pine. Chris Pine oh, yeah. is the correct oh, answer. No. Well done. Uh, here's your next one. It's going really well so far this round. It's <laughs> <Yeah, that's> really <laughs> dreadful. <geniuses. laughs> Which Labour politician published a volume of diaries titled Conflicts of Interest? Oh. Yes, Rory. Tony. Is correct, James? Blair. Oh, no. is incorrect, ben. Sam. Ben. Is the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good man. Film. There it is. Good fun, though. Well played, Sam. <laughs> Did that very nicely. Uh, your next one is a song. What's the name of this song, please? Talk about things you like to do. You got to have a dream. Don't have a dream. How you Sam. Happy. Correct, Anne. Talk. Is the correct answer. Well done. Happy talk. <laughs> Here's your next question. What two-word epithet is commonly given to the 15th century ruler of Wallachia, Vlad the <gasps> Third? Sorry. Yes, Anne. <laughs> the Correct, Sam. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sam. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't dude. Uh, gents, you can buzz in. It is the Rory. Impaler. Is the correct answer. Vlad yeah. the Impaler. Well done. Well played. Here's your next question. Which 2017 Greta Gerwig film stars Saoirse Ronan as a high school student? Yes, James. Lady. Correct, Rory. Marmalade. Is incorrect, <laughs> I'm afraid. Nice guess. Sorry. Um, it would be a nice film. Anne or Sam? You fancy it? No, it's a terrific film. James? Lady Bird. Lady Bird oh, is the yeah. right answer. Cool. Well done. What is the name of this character? Rory. Sorry. Incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> and or Sam. <laughs> Sam. Piggle. Is correct, Anne. Piggle? Is the correct <laughs> answer. Well played. Come on, Anne. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. this, this round really gets you, doesn't it? Oh. It's fun. Here's your final question in this round. <laughs> The title of which Shakespeare comedy is taken from the traditional name for the last day of Christmas festivities? James. Twelfth. Correct, Rory. Night. Here's the correct answer, gents. Well played. Twelfth night. Well done if you got that at home. That is the end of that round. Anne and Rory, if you'll swap back mm. over, please. That was grueling. Job done. <laughs> and we will take great, a little look game. at the score, shall we, after round two. It was a pretty good round from everybody. Rory, you are on three points. Anne and James, you are on four. Our leader still by two points, it's Sam. Yes. Very best of luck to everyone. Round three today is... Broken karaoke. Broken karaoke. Now, we have a karaoke <laughs> machine at House of Games. It is broken, as you know. We're going to show you some famous bits of famous songs, but we're only going to show you the first letter of each word, mm. OK? You buzz in as soon as you can recognise the song. The letters come up in the rhythm of the song as well. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Wish you the very best of luck. Your first song is from... Mm. 1976. But what is this song? Rory. Don't go breaking my heart. Is that right? Oh. Let's have a listen. Rory, that's so quick. Wow. Well played. There you are done. Elton John and Kiki D, of course. Here's your next one. It is from 1981. What is this song? Anne. For your eyes only. Yeah. Let's have a little listen. For your 
is the right answer for your eyes only, Sheena Easton. Very well done. <laughs> Very impressive so far. Here's your third one. You now have a song from 1995. What is this song? Yes, James. Want you back by Take That. I'll give you that. Back oh. for good by Take That. Let's have a little listen. Now, I'm usually quite liberal with the titles of these songs because <laughs> we tend to forget the titles. Here's your next one. It's from 2000. What is this song, please? Oh. And this is the title, those are the initials. If I tell you, you'll kick yourself. No. Mm. Shall we have a little listen? Yeah. Oh, people at home would have got this. Have a listen, it is. Who let the dogs out? Oh, oh, no! That's a good one. Oh, no! <laughs> well, I don't know if you got that at home. <laughs> it looks oh, quite beautiful no. like that. <laughs> By the Baja <laughs> men, of course, went on to have <laughs> many, many other hits. <laughs> Let's take a look That's at your shameful. next one. That's a funny one, isn't it? <laughs> Here's your next one. It is from 1967. Plums. 1967. What is this song? <laughs> 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 Rory, what is the song? R-E-S-P-E-C-T. <laughs> is the correct answer. <laughs> Very well done. Sometimes you've got to buzz in quickly. Let's have a little listen. Rita Franklin, of course. Very well played. <laughs> Here's your final question of this round, your final broken karaoke. It is from the year 1982, and here's your song. M is the title of the song. That's the initial. James. Oh, Mickey? Is the correct oh, answer. Yeah. Well done. Let's have a little listen. Hey, Mickey by Tony Basil, of course, very well done, James. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at the scores. Here's how we stand. Oh, oh. it could not be a lot closer than that. <laughs> Rory and Anne, you have five points. Sam and James in the lead with six. <laughs> Here we go. Round four today is... The pen ultimate round. Ooh. The pen ultimate round. Now, you've done a little bit of homework for this one, have you not, before the show? Right. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you each a piece of literature. I'm going to show you the real first line and a fake first line written by one of your opponents. You get a point if you get the real first line. Your opponent gets a point if they fool you. Sam, we will start with you. We are looking for the first line, please, Sam, of Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. Let's take a look. Here are your two options. The first place that I can well remember was a large, pleasant meadow with a pond of clean water in it. Is that the first line, or is this the first line? Born into the darkest night, he raised his frightened eyes to the moon above and whimpered. Well, they are both fairly convincing. Yeah. They are. I would say. I think it's the second one. Think I think the real... I think the fake, the fake one is the first one. So you think the real first line of Black Beauty is... Born into the darkest night. The second one. Are you right? Is that the first line of Black Beauty? It is not the oh. first line. The top one is the first line. Who wrote Born into the darkest night? Point two is Anne Diamond. Well done. Well done. Yeah, well done, Anne. Rory, Rory, we're looking for the first line, please, of Psychology for Dummies by Adam Cash. What is the first line of that book? One of these is true, one of them was written by one of your opponents. Was it? So you bought Psychology for Dummies. Mm. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Very good. Or was it? When discussing the human brain, you would be forgiven for thinking that you would need a degree or a lifetime of study, but you don't. Uh, mm. I've, I've read a little bit of some of the Dummies series oh, okay. of books. And they're quite humorous. Yeah. So I think the first one is more likely to be something they'd go for because it's, it's slightly funny. So I'm going to go with 
Well, the first one as the correct go, answer. Well, the first one. You think that... Uh, so you bought Psychology for Dummies. How does that make you feel? Rory, have you just scored a point? Do you agree at home? <laughs> Here's the correct yeah. answer. Very well played. Who wrote the second one? Twas yeah. I. It was Sam. Nice try. Nice. nice try. Well played, Rory. Anne, here is yours. We're looking for the real first line of... Basically, <laughs> my life as a real Essex girl. Basically. By Gemma Collins. Right. OK, I don't know if you've read it. Mm, no. One of these is the real first line. One of them was written by one of your opponents. Let's take a look. <laughs> is it? If you looked up Essex in the dictionary, <laughs> there'd be a picture of me in Essex absolutely <laughs> hammered. Hammered. <laughs> or is it? Basically, it started <laughs> at a bus stop in Dagenham. Oh, these wow. Are, these are both great. They're Whoever wrote brilliant. the other one has done a great <laughs> yeah. job. I'm only going to go for one because I can't see Gemma using the word dictionary. So... <laughs> sorry, Gemma. Um, I'm going to go for the bottom one as being the real one. So, basically, it started at a bus stop in Dagenham. Is that the correct answer? It is the correct <laughs> answer. Very well done. Who wrote the top one? I wrote the top one. James, Yay, I love the good. top one. Proud of that. <laughs> Can I good. say, if this wasn't Friday, uh, I'd give you a point for that. <laughs> James, here is yours. <laughs> We're looking for the first line of the 2017 oh. General Election Manifesto by the official Monster Raving Looney Party. <laughs> Which of these is the right first line? We will stand on a platform of free wooden hats for all so we can pull the wool over people's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> or was it? The dawn of a new era is upon us. Wake up. Little Monsters. <laughs> Again, these are both good. Now, I've, I've got an advantage, haven't I, really? Because I know who wrote this, because I can figure it out. You can figure out get who... in their yeah. head. Yeah. Mm. So, the incorrect one was written by... By Rory. Rory. So, it's Rory versus the Monster Raving Looney Party. Mm -hmm. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever think... one he's written, he's done a good job. I'm going to go with the second one, just because it feels more like an opening line. So, James is gone. With the dawn of a new era is upon us, wake up, little monsters. Is that the first line of that general election manifesto? It is not, oh, Rory. Oh well goodness. played. Oh, Very well played. <laughs> that's pretty convincing. It sounded yeah. like the kind of thing that... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, know, so. you did a nice job there, Rory. That's a good that's... opening line to a book. Yeah. Yeah. So, we have one round to go. Shall we take a look at uh, how mm. the scores stand going into our final round? This is going to be close. Oh, look at that. Hey. James and Sam, you have six points. Rory and Anne, you have seven points. How about that? <laughs> One round to go, and it is, for the final time, we play... Oh, no. 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 Answer oh, smash. No. You know... <laughs> how... no. No. Shall we all just get up and go now? Yeah, just let's leave just leave. Let's just how, give him how, a trophy. How has this stood a surprise? Well, I would say yesterday... You all did better than James in this round. So anybody could still win. I'm going to show a picture. I'll put a clue underneath it, smash the answers together. Uh, OK, fingers on buzzers. You get a point if you get one right. You lose a point if you get one wrong. Here is your first category. Who is going to win this House of Games trophy? Film villains. Those are going to be the pictures. There will be clues underneath. Please smash them together. See what you got. Here's your first one. Which American disco group had a 1978 hit with YMCA? That is James. Cruella de Village people. <laughs> oh, how do you do it? It's the right answer. Good Cruella de Village people is the right answer. Well played, James. Point to you. Oh. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Here's oh. your next one. Which classic Broadway musical with music by Leonard Bernstein is inspired by Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? That is Anne. Wicked Witch of the West Side Story. Wicked Witch of the West Side Story oh, yeah. is the correct answer, Anne. Well played. Here is your third film villain. Which branch of medicine deals with pregnancy and childbirth? No one's going to risk losing a point. Should I tell you? It is. Odd um... job obstetrics. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> That'd be nice. I was hands up who was thinking gynecology. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> desperately trying to. Here's your next category. Famous paintings. Yeah. So what are the names of these paintings? What are the answers to the clues? Smash them together. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. 
What name is traditionally given to a light meal taken in the afternoon with scones and jam? Yes, James. Actually, I don't know. Loser point, James. Rory. Scream tea. The scream tea. I'll give you that, Rory. Come on. Play. <laughs> Thank you. Here's your next one. What is the name of the daughter of Elvis who married Michael Jackson in 1994? Yes, Rory. Mona Lisa Manelli. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh. Anne. <laughs> Mona Lisa Presley. Is incorrect as well, I'm afraid. Mm. Buzz in now, anyone? <laughs> James. Mona Lisa Marie Presley. Is the correct oh. answer. And Rory lose a point, James Ooh. gains a point. Here's your next one. Which actor and comedian's characters include the DJ Delbert Wilkins and the soul singer Theophilus P. Wilderbeast? Yes, Anne. Monica the Glen E. Henry. Monica the Glen E. Henry oh. is the correct <laughs> answer. Beautiful painting, the Monica the Glenny Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next category. No more categories. Oh, well, please, I really want to play another round of that. <laughs> <laughs> there were points getting gained, there were points being lost all the way through. I genuinely don't know who's won today's show. Could be any one of you. <laughs> <laughs> James won Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Anne won Thursday. Who has won Friday's House of Games? It is. Oh. Anne has won oh. it with eight points. Well done! James and Rory yeah. in second, Sam in sixth. Anne, what prize would you like for Friday's win? Ooh! Ooh! I've got to have the Lithuanian wine because the then I can wine. take it home and celebrate the win. Lovely. And it's home the House of Games of Sparkling Wine. Whatever you do, do not drink, drink it. Drink it. Yeah. <laughs> OK. But we have the small matter of who is our weekly mm. champion. Double points Friday, of course. Shall we find out? Shall we take a look at our final leaderboard? Who's the champion of House of Games this week? <laughs> Sam, you have eight <laughs> points. Rory, 15 Yay. and 20. James, 21 Yay. points. <laughs> one point win. A one point win. Very well played, James. And you very, very nearly took him over and caught him up Lisa there. Lisa Marie Presley lost it for me. <laughs> James, we will pass you this trophy. Congratulations, sir. Sterling performance, a great start to the week. Oh, what a good look, look at it. Whee! <laughs> well done, Thank sir. <laughs> Our winner, Mr. James A. Castro. Thank you so much. It's been lovely having you here, James. Congratulations on your win. It's been lovely having the rest of you here as well. It's been a lovely week. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining us as well on House of Games. Yay!